Welcome back to the channel. My name is Brandon and today I am so excited. I am pumped because the Subaru is going down to the shop. We're going to drop it off and it's going to get dyno tuned. We have done so much work on it. A lot of parts have been replaced. You've seen the episodes. You know the work I've put into it and it all comes down to today. Take it down there, see the horsepower numbers, see what it does. Hopefully it doesn't need anything else. Hope everything goes as planned. Keep your fingers crossed. Let's get to it. No need to panic. Just because the Subaru is getting loaded onto a tow truck does not mean disaster has struck. But before that, if you're new, please consider subscribing. If you like what you see, hit the thumbs up down below. Turn on your post notifications so you don't miss any new videos. I'm towing the Subaru to the shop because we've done a lot of work to it. Injectors, fuel pump, up pipe, access port, boost controller. There's a lot going on. So I don't feel safe getting in it and driving 20 miles down the road to a shop and they agree. So we're gonna tow it. I thought of towing it with the Tundra, but I'd have to rent a trailer and precious cargo on rented equipment doesn't mesh well and that doesn't sit well with me. So we're gonna get the Subaru loaded onto the tow truck and we're gonna get it down to the shop. It's been a few days since we dropped the Subaru off at the shop for the pre-dyno inspection. They did find a couple things. Uh, hooked it up to a smoke machine and found that there was some boost leaks at some hose clamps. So they went ahead and changed out those hose clamps. They drained the fuel, old fuel, I don't know how old it is. So they put brand new 91 octane in it. They put some insulation on the um, vacuum hoses that go to the boost controller from the wastegate because they said it was too close to the turbo. They put it on the dyno and did some baseline runs and they saw the voltage kind of low and high and spiking and moving all over the place. So pulled it off the dyno, had a tech, check all the grounds and clean them. And I guess they're good now. So there's a couple options to go with the tune. We're either gonna go full on speed density, a hybrid between speed density and the mass airflow or just mass airflow tuning. We're going to head into the shop right now. The tuner's here. He's got the car on the dyno and we're going to have a little discussion and see what he thinks about uh, the options. Um, so this is where the math is starting to max out. Yeah, basically right here about like, you know, 4,600 4, or so. That's basically where in the data logs the math is just a flat line. And this part of the video absolutely sucks and it breaks my heart because the car is getting towed back on a flatbed to my house. The shop could not complete the dyno tuning. There was a problem between 1500 and 2000 RPMs where the car was just dumping all the fuel into it. They couldn't figure out why. It never did that before on any of the previous tunes I had on the original access port, it ran fine. I drove around the parking lot with their tune on it and it just hesitated and stumbled and went full rich and barely, barely would even move between about 1,500 and 2,000, 2,500 RPMs. Had them pull the tune off the car because that was not gonna work. Um, and I towed it home. I forgot to mention the car sat at the shop for three days on the dyno and a total of four weeks at the shop trying to figure out what the problem was. They checked the grounds, they checked what they could, they gave up, they threw in the towel and said, hey look, we don't have the right tools to test it, we don't know what's wrong with it, it's not something we, we feel confident that we can fix. Very discouraging, very disappointing. I just wanna get the car done, I'm willing to pay for it, and they couldn't deliver, so. Does not even wanna run, listen to that thing, listen to it. That's not me feathering the accelerator, that's just, <laughs> and it stinks too. It smells like pure gasoline. 
let's try it again going forward. That was reverse. I'm just gonna keep the idle, I'm gonna keep the throttle steady. Oh, oh, oh. Can't even. Wow. Can't even drive it through the parking lot. You hearing that? Wow. Literally undrivable. Listen to it. Oh boy. Well, I guess we're going to remove that tune completely. Start from scratch. Super disappointing. It's like heartbreaking. We're starting over. We're gonna go to a different shop. We're gonna talk to different experts and we're gonna get this figured out. We're not trying to go to the moon here. We're just trying to get a Subaru with a different engine in it running down the road. It can't be that hard. The previous shop, they tried to do the hybrid tuning where the mass airflow maxed out around 3000 RPMs. Then they turned it on kicked in the intake air temp sensor to go speed density hybrid tune. Clearly that didn't work. So we're gonna figure out the next best option and we're gonna get it done because we gotta get this car on the road. It's depressing just sitting here getting dirty. Um, thanks for sticking around. If you made it this far, I'm gonna show you a couple of little things we got up our sleeve for the next couple videos. I'm really excited about some parts that are in. Um, we're not giving up yet. We're gonna keep pushing forward. It is discouraging. It is bumming me out, but this car is just too much fun and too valuable to me to give up now. Thanks for watching. I appreciate everybody. Give me a comment down below, hit the thumbs up, and also subscribe if you're new. Thank you. Just a little teaser of what's going on. Um, probably in the next video, these black spider looking things that I guess you can call them wheels will be gone. I have a set here. And we have a set over here. Uh, if you follow on Instagram, you may know what they are. These are very dirty. Probably do a video on that. Oh, look, at, look at that. This one has been cleaned. It's beautiful. These ones are not white. They're actually red. Any guesses on what that is? And I picked up an original full GC dash swap with this car originally had in it and should still have in it, but it doesn't. There's also parts up there. We have center console. That says GC eight tails, which may actually be JDM brand new tails. What else do we have? Oh, up there, there is some sort of a rear seat. That will be going in soon. Had to have some kind of positivity in this horrible ending. Such a sad video. Gotta stay positive in some way, shape, or form. Thanks again for watching. And this sucks too. The Tundra got hit the other night and I couldn't even move it. Had to rip all this stuff off of it and pull out the bumper support so that I could actually move the vehicle because it all got pushed into the tire. Thankful to my neighbor who doesn't use his mirrors, his eyeballs, or his backup camera when reversing his brand new Silverado.